Welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. After a couple harrowing boss fights, it's time to continue our exploration. And uh, one thing I would dearly like right now is some sort of like a uh, vestige for us to maybe uh, go ahead and, well, utilize these hard-earned souls that, uh, that we have. Now, I'm not 100% sure Oh, I see. We're probably supposed to cross over right here, I would imagine. Let's take a quick look, see. Yeah, it looks like the looks like it's uh, the water is cleared from down there. So let's go ahead and cross over. We do have enough vestige seeds that if we wanted to, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But um, it's fine. We'll push our luck. What is life if not a series of risks? All right. Let's see how far we can get. Oh, hello. Well, at least there's a friendly face here. That's nice. Onwards you march, eh? I hope it's not for any kind of glory, because you won't find a sniff of that in Mornstead. And certainly I hope it's, it's not mostly in the, the name sweet of outfits. the hallowed sentinels. Because take my word for it, they're no better than the Rogar. I've got many a scar to prove it. Yeah, but see, the thing, man, is that, like, everybody in this world sucks, you Whether know? Whether you've embraced Umbral or struggle against it is none of my concern. Power is a sweet temptation. And the lamp will grant you that, sure enough. But don't confuse that with loyalty. Still, I'll not deny. I owe Umbral for giving me what it did. So the vestiges will be minded as long as I'm able. That's fair. I mean, honestly, that's the best way to survive in this world. Like, you don't any owe anybody anything. Just look out for number one, you know, and uh, factions be damned. Name's Byron, by the way. I'll be around. Always am. Name's Byron, All right, by the Byron. Way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, and cool, we do get our vestige that we so dearly desired. Um, cool, so now we've got some decisions to make. Well, actually, the first and foremost decision is do may we maybe want to run back... Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's... So we're in the vestige of Val Valade, or Valade. Uh, why don't we go back to Skyrest real quick? Uh, one thing that I want to check on is if that blacksmith who we rescued from her imprisonment uh, ended up going back here to Skyrest Bridge, which is, of course, our little uh, hub area. If I were a blacksmith, I think this area seemed more blacksmithy-like. Yeah, cool. And she's got her little uh, friend there with her as well. Gerlinda. Gerlinda found herself a place to do a little so sorry, business. Gerlinda. She hasn't seen any other Growok since arriving in this shithole kingdom. But, Growok or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. That's right. See, I'm, I knew I liked Gerlinda. Speaking of business, Gerlinda has something you might be able to help with. Okay, I'm She's listening. She's looking for some items. This vining bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Galinda is undeserving of what she seeks, traveler. And self-centered besides. You okay. do well not to aid her in. You know full vet. The agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge, which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal, and now Galinda wants those crystal tablets to help in her wounds missing. So... If you find any in your travels, bring them to Galinda, and she'll do right by you. Bring the crystal tablets. Got it. So, 
Oh boy. I'm guessing this is a situation where we'll have a chance to help this guy out or help her out. I don't really know enough about their relationship or what the situation is to be able to weigh in one way or another. Uh, hopefully more of that becomes kind of revealed. As I would not to Galinda, I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, traveler. That's fine. Even upon pain of death. The joys in the discovery. Annoyed grunt? As what? I, would not to I want to... I will not reveal the locations oh, of the weird. tablets to you, traveler. Even upon pain of death. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Um, cool. So, upgrade equipment for sure. Actually, you know what? Probably should see what she has for sale first. Okay. So, let's sort by... Uh, what are these exclamation marks mean? They probably meant it was a new item that was available to us. So, Brio stones, mana stones, ammunition, fire salts... The only melee weapons she has right now are this Partisan Flail, which I believe is the starting weapon for the, well, the Partisan. Uh, and yeah, and Black Feather Ranger Shield. I think I'll pass on those at the moment. Um, got this bow, though, which we do have the agility to wield, and it looks like it scales better in agility than it does in strength. Versus the crossbow, which we already have. I'm wondering, would it be worth for me to go ahead and grab this um, bow? I think I will. I think I will. It's pretty cheap. And then arrows uh, and rived, rived bolts. Okay. Um, oh, cool. So it's just something that you... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So you basically, you just purchase the ammunition type once... And then that little, again, that little gray bar in the upper left-hand corner, whatever ammunition you have slotted into your inventory slot, that's the type that will fire from there. So that actually, I kind of like that system a little bit better. It's like, it forces you to not totally, uh, I guess, be 100% dependent upon ranged weapons, which I know some people like to do, but I don't know. I think trying to maximize the ways in which you use different weapons and skills is kind of a more... I don't know. It's a more fun way to play. But then again, do you really want to limit people from playing the way that they want? If they want to do exclusively bows. I don't know. I'm getting very philosophical here while we need to be doing more upgrading. So, we've got these Fists of Insight, which we're currently rocking. Um, I'm wondering, is this, is this the weapon that we're going to be rolling with long term? It's 500 to upgrade. I mean, I could grab like a Plus, get a few, you know, positive levels in this. I just don't want to upgrade something that I'm not going to be using a lot long term. Um, let's take a look at our inventory uh, real quick. Yes, yeah, so we've got Fist of Insight. Now, interestingly, like, if you look here at us, looks like we're rolling with the fists in in both hands. Am I not mistaken about that? But here in my slot... Huh. So what happens if I unequip this exalted dagger? Yeah, I'm still... I'm still... I've still got the fists in both hands. Interesting. So my... My question is, is it 73 per hand? <laughs> you know, like... Oh, I see. So if you hit tab, if you switch your stances from one-handed to two-handed, obviously there's not really an effective way to wield this um, two-handed. So you can either go one dagger and one fist, or you can go double fists. I mean, of course, the fists look a lot cooler, and I suspect they're going to be more damage, right? Yeah. Uh, 73 versus 65, yeah. Plus, I think we're doing a little bit of fire damage, right? Is that what I'm seeing here? Cool. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll... Because of that, it's kind of a two-for-one deal. So, maybe we do want to upgrade a couple levels into the uh, the fists. And to use some of, of these Duralium stones. Okay. Fist of Insight plus two. Um, how many levels do we need to upgrade? 2,400 right now. To get three levels would be, yeah, so where we've exceeded that. So, yeah, let's do this. Fist of Insight plus two. 
Did I do one more? Let's do one more. Oh, insufficient materials. Oh, wow. We, we burned through that quite quickly. Or, oh, no. Actually, there's it's a large fragment that we need now. We need one large fragment. Cool. So that's kind of put a cap on that for us at the moment. Um, should I put some levels into the bow, I wonder? Um, you know what? I will. Black Feather Ranger Bow, plus one, and 750. I think I'm going to hold off because I do want to grab two levels of um, of uh, regular stat upgrades. And I believe this will get me that. Okay. So, we're at 18, 15, 15. Honestly, I think just... We'll do Endurance, Vitality, Agility, Endurance, Vitality, Agility. I think that's kind of be going to be the cadence for a little bit. Uh, a bit longer. Doesn't feel like we're, we've are we really arrived where we want to be long-term for health or endurance. So, um, with that, doesn't really feel like we've hit a major story uh, line. Which is the one that we're supposed to go to? Um, this one, Velade. So, you know, maybe in the future we'll take the time to go around and, and chat to the NPCs and see what, what they've thought. But I feel like we're still pr pretty much on this primary quest to take out the beacon. And we have not done that yet. So I don't imagine they'll have anything new to say to us at this point until we do that. Alright, so we've got a couple different ways to go. I'm guessing it doesn't really matter since a lot of these happen to... Uh, Oh, that was a mistake. I meant to, to do this. A lot of these levels seem to wrap around in the end. It's not open from this side. Well, there we go. That makes that decision for us. Let's roll through here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> let's just rest here real quick to get that one misclicked uh, Sanguinarix back. Cool. So, here we go. Ooh, I would like to get over there. Uh, will not happen on the umbral side. Oh, hello. I did not notice these guys. Oh, there's quite a few of them, actually. Headless horseman type guys, except without the horse. Oh, yeah. I love that fire damage. I didn't notice that before, but yeah, a little bit of extra passive fire damage is um, definitely super handy. All right, dare I run and jump over there? I don't think so. Is there a way to drop down? Um, actually, you know what? There is. Some poison arrows. Nice. Okay. Oh, hello. Hell yeah. Yeah, these daggers are feeling um, very natural for our build. Okay, that was just full circle here. Cool. Uh, actually, before we forget, why don't we go ahead and switch our ranged um, weapon? Now, how do I how do I do that? Here we go. Black feather ranger bow plus one. Switch our arrows to. Let's just go with. Oak arrow. So this is 96 uh, damage versus 115 poison, but it costs twice as much. Okay. Now, how do I switch to my bow? Oh, two. Okay. And then... What do I do? Go like this, and then... Oh, cool. Is there a way to zoom in? I'm doing middle mouse. Huh. I'm not exactly sure what my targeting reticule is going to be. Okay. Interesting. Well, we'll we'll play around with it. Oh, I, I could probably target lock them. That's probably what I'm meant to do. All right. Well, why don't we try that here? Okay. Cool. Oh, you've got some range stuff as well. Cool. Yeah, that's feeling uh, that's feeling pretty good. I would definitely like to upgrade this bow, uh, if I may. 
in the future. Yep, I see you. Oh, it's an ambush, huh? Where exactly are these guys coming from? Like, they're blending into the environment so well that I'm just, like, totally missing them as I'm walking by. Are these guys like a hydra where they keep multiplying? <laughs> Fetid Sacrifice Sleeves. I don't think I'm going to be wearing any Sacrifice Sleeves anytime soon. I hate to say it. Oh, are they in the water? Is that why... Seeing these ripples. These telltale ripples. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yep, they sure are. Oh, they sure are. <laughs> I didn't take my own speculation seriously. All right, well, two heavy attacks. Put that to rest. All right, well, let's just go ahead and roll forward. Um, pool. I know that you're in there. Oh, there he is. Oh. Probably should you heal up a little bit. Heavy attacks do uh, cost quite a bit of stamina, though. That's the thing. Huh. That looks like a door over there. I guess we should go check out the door, huh? Oh, gosh. Can we swim? Oh. No, we cannot swim. Oh, and there, there are moths here, meaning that we need to cross over here. Okay. Maybe we'll come back uh, in a second after we've sort of figured out the situation here. Whoa, hello. Okay. Didn't know that you could do that. Whoa, where's that coming from? Ooh, okay. Why don't we back off a little bit? Okay. Cool. So yeah, this this kind of highlights the importance of getting those ammunition pouches. I'm already halfway expended. You know, were this a... Uh, oh, this flaming tree was part of what we were supposed to find on the map, I think. Uh, were I entirely relying on my bow, uh, I would definitely be in a tough spot right about now. Oh, you got up some like stilt walker enemies over here. Very cool. Very like, uh, you know, steampunk. Okay, how do I... How do I get down there? Take care of the mob first. Let this guy burn out. There you go. Thanks for playing. Oh, there's another guy over there just revealed himself. Oh, man, where do these guys keep spawning from? Oh, come on. Alright, let's not get lost in the sauce. A Shuja Warrior Spear. Can I drop... Can I do a drop attack on this guy? Yeah, I can. Oh, they go down quite easily. Oh, whoa! Okay. Um, was my health depleting the whole time, or did he one-shot me? I did not... I did not see, unfortunately. Okay. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, come on. Well, looks like we would need to have to have crossed over here anyway because there's this super spooky skeleton ladder here, which I don't think would have been previously accessible. So it worked out in our favor. 
Alright, let's do a little sprint attack. Oh, good dodge. He's going to burn it out in a second. There we go. Works for me. Okay, cultist here. We need to... Ooh, hello. Okay, little... Uh, little mini boss. Right there. Oh, yikes. Alright, we've got company. Don't care for this. Okay, he's down. All these little spooky ghost guys need to go away as well. Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, I do not care for this poison stuff, man. Shades of light down right about now. Oh. Yeah. All right, I feel like we have spent much too much time here in the... Uh, in the Umbral Realm already, but we have no choice. Oh no, I'm getting, I'm getting mobbed right here. It's tough when they keep like spawning like right on top of you, you know what I mean? It's like you do what you can to take out the ones right in front of you, but if one spawns out of oblivion. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No worries. Hakuna Matata, everyone. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy right here. What are you doing, man? Who are you fooling? Okay. What is my what is my plan here? Just, oh, what a tease. Look at these little this little uh, clump of flowers there. Oh, that's probably the thing I just used. Okay, never mind. Still, though. Um, what is my plan here? I guess let's just aggro him. Hello. I don't think I... I haven't fought this variety. Oh. Yikes. Okay. Alright, this could be instructive. Why don't we run back over here? Do a little bit more of an arena type scenario. Oh, look at the taunt. I love it. I love a little sass in my, uh, in my enemies. Okay, come on. Ooh. Grab attack there. Will not be grabbed. Man, I really wish I had some healing right about now. I wonder, maybe discretion is the better part of valor. I don't know. Alright, where's the big guy? He's behind me, isn't he? Yep. Oh, great jump. <laughs> That's exactly the jump I meant to do right there. We're going to get another shot at it, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That would have been a smarter thing for me to do, wouldn't it? Okay, well, this is also not ideal. These little crossbow guys doing their patrols. And look at us, going from... Oh, no. We're about to get crossbow sniped. I can feel it. Any second now. Can I live long enough to... Oh! Uh, we were just about to hit it. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, it was actually super easy to run back here to the point where there's this guy... Hiding behind the, uh, hiding behind that little barricade there. Now I gotta come over here again. Knock these guys away. 
Oh my gosh. These crossbowmen are actually very strong. Like, props to them. Um, let's heal. Heal. Oh no. Heal. There we go. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Crossbowmen. Oh, never mind. Crossbowmen not dealt with. Come on. One more. Take this guy out. Alright, can we... Emerge? Not quite. Ooh. Come on, heal. Okay. Okay, he's gone. One more guy to take out. This is stressful. Okay. Emerge. Alright. And let's recover our souls. <laughs> I hear crossbow shots being taken. I don't know by whom. Oh, I see you now. Really? How? What? Oh my gosh. What a troll. What an absolute troll. Okay. Well. This better be pretty important. Some smite cures. Okay. Um, which way should I go? Should I go down? Oh, you know what? I bet if I we if we keep going down the this lower route, I bet you it opens up that door um back to that vestige where we started at. I bet this thing is one giant circle. If I were a betting man. Like right here? Oh no, not here. Um Okay, what am I overlooking? Is this a place that we've already been? Obviously, I know I'm supposed to cross over here. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Um, okay, well. What am I looking at here? Sure. Guess we'll do this real quick. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, I guess we have to take these guys down first. Whoa! How did I get one shot by him? What? Is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I was able to clear this little patch out pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Huh. Two umbral scourings. Okay. I'm not sure who that's meant to be. Um, I mean, possibly we just don't know, you know. Innervated figure skull. Right. Where are we? A harmony hoop. Whoa! I swear, these guys are getting so much more, uh, Potent. All right, heal again. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a little harpy guy. That's not cool. Man, thank goodness for target lock. Tell you what. Uh, Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Am I supposed to drop down? I mean, I guess. Sure. Hopefully that was the right move. Oh no! Okay, so we've come full circle. <laughs> As I had predicted. Well, I guess if we can upgrade our character, let's upgrade. Um, so what do we? What can we afford? Agility and endurance. There we go. Okay. Well, a couple more upgrades. Rest here real quick, and then and then what? What did we learn? What did we accomplish? Um, so we dropped down from up there. We didn't end up unlocking this, did we? Like, does not open from that side, yeah. Huh. Okay, what am I missing here? It's pro- oh, you know what, I- I have a theory as to what 
is supposed to happen. Um, first of all, we need to come back through here, which we did originally. And then, now we need to cross over. Let's get some of our health back. Ooh, like so. And then, then we come down here, I betcha. Through this nonsense. Oh, well, does this open a door, or does this just give me a, a thing? An angel's axe. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing to have. It doesn't really solve my uh, dilemma at the moment. Okay. Well, I guess we've got a cut. We've got some more areas to explore here, so all is not really lost, you know. Ooh, stilt walker guy is going to be an issue. Oh, and I'm poisoned. That's great. Uh, is this possibly a uh, shortcut? We just got to cut through these vines here. Uh oh, uh oh, a little bit of, a little bit of ganging up on little old me, huh? Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll heal for whatever that's worth. Thank goodness that I can hit multiple people at once with these daggers, you know? Like, it's really saving my bacon. I don't really think of it as, like, an AoE weapon, but... Okay. Yeah, I see you in there. Please tell me there's something I can... Well, okay. A ring and an exemplar, uh little uh, customizable thingy for me, for my armor. Alright, not really the shortcut that I'm looking for. Is this a shortcut here? Oh, no? You? How about some help? The sorcerer I was traveling with said the trinket I wore was actually some kind of ancient magical accessory. Said it would toughen my skin against harm if I let him reinvigorate it with his sorcery. As you can see, he did that sure enough. That's true. That was a monkey paw bastard. wish. But he was a stupid bastard with coin. And a mercenary's got to make a living. So what can I do you for? You're hired. Get this damn thing off me, and I'll be in your debt. And who doesn't appreciate having a favor in your pocket? That's true. Get I do. This damn thing okay. Who doesn't appreciate having yep. So what do I do? I just... I just pick... How do I get the thing off of you? That's not it. I see a, I see a thing right back there that I can't get to. Um, what? I mean, I'm already in the umbral. Get this data who doesn't huh. appreciate having a favor. Yeah, okay. Well, I can't exactly... Fuck it all. Oh! Was that not what I was supposed to do? Oh, she turned into bones. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Maybe that's the only way to have freed her. Did I free her? I don't know. I mean, if she's a lamp bearer, then she's like not really dead, right? She's just going to go back to the last place that lamp people come from. Like me. Okay. Uh, I guess let's come through here. And, I don't know, I guess we'll emerge. Sure. Mr. Stilt Guy is still going to want a piece of me, though. I can feel it.
Want more poison dudes. Faint vigor skulls. Ooh, let's ooh, let's stay away from that nonsense. Okay, that one's down. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about <laughs> that poor woman. Um, there was nothing I could have done, I don't think, other than just attack blindly. You know. I mean, that's what... Oh, no, no. That's what I could have been reasonably expected to do, I guess. You know. All right, I can't go in there. I gotta, I gotta go to the other side, which I will do in a hot minute. Let me just look around the corner. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Here's a little vestige seed area. Honestly, not a terrible place to, uh... Oh, and there's a little shortcut right there, huh? Uh-huh. I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, it's good to know that that's there for the future next time we come back. Um, so we need to go to this little side ambush area, right? And then, yeah, cross over here. That's what I'm seeing. And then get this. A verger ring. Let's cut through here. Uh-oh. Where are we? Hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm... I'm, I'm locked on, and I don't want to be locked on. Uh, is this anything over here? Not really. Oh, stilt walker guy? Okay. We're just running for it. I have no idea how I'm still alive. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> how? Okay. <laughs> I... Alright. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know how I survived the first time. <laughs> I couldn't have reasonably been expected to survive two of those. Cool. Okay, we've started our little run back to the area where I got untimely uh, flattened, pancaked, if you will, by a rock, and uh, happened to run across this guy. I don't know if we passed him before and just, we we'll probably just ignored him due to our uh, imminent demise, but let's chat. Here you are again. If having your eyes open to the Umbral Realm hasn't driven you mad yet, then maybe you'll endure. Although you never really get used to it. You just... learn to balance on the edge. And ignore the whispers telling you to jump. I came to Mornstead once, a long time ago. I made a mistake, but now I'm going to put it right. And do you want to elaborate on I that? I came to Mornstead once, a long time ago. I made a mistake. Okay. Fine, keep your secrets. I don't know if this is one of the ones where there's a guy hiding behind it that I need to watch out for. I mean, there is a guy. Probably multiple guys, to be honest. I'm just going to focus on him at the moment. Okay, there's one. This is a neat little area of light. Kind of a respite. I'm very reluctant to, like, cut through stuff and then just run in there. You know, uh, we, were, we went down there briefly already. Come from that way. Sure, we'll take care of this guy. Oh, another one. Alright, this is where the bouldering comes in, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So, 
we hide behind here. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Maybe the boulders are just a one-time thing. They've already been expended. Uh, we'll open up this shortcut. Faux show. And then open up this little passage here. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, boss. Mendacious visage. Okay. With zero healing. Love it. Okay. Well, that's not happening. Oh, okay. He's got a little bubble on him. He's got a soft, fleshy buttocks. He's got a little shield there. Okay. So what? what is your mechanic here? Huh. Alright. I mean, I see your butt is open for an attack, but... Oh! Okay. Oh, that's probably what I want to get in there and get that juicy meat. Okay. I see. Yeah, but I'm getting withered to death. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be a constant battle of me, like, losing red health and getting, the, like, wither health. Oh, and then there's these little slug things. Oh, they explode. <laughs> and they remove your endurance as well. That is sick as hell. I might go ahead and place a, vesti a vestige seed, because I'm pretty sure I know where there's a, a spot right on the other side of that ladder that I just created. That might be worthwhile. Okay, so, and I did just that. I went ahead and dropped this vestige seed right here. It's like past the initial like little uh, overpass where we first went up. You can kind of see there through the through the um, board, the wooden boards. Uh, right past the first stilt walker. So basically all we need to do is just come over here. Uh, all we need to do, all we need to do, he said, all we need to do, so simple, is just come up here, take a little bit of poison damage, you know, as you do. Um, <laughs> cross to the Umbral Realm, because this is a fight that is mandatory in the Umbral. It removes the poison, which is good. And then this is how we get to the boss fight, so... Uh, oh yeah, okay. We gotta cross over officially. There we go. Alright, well, I feel a little bit better about where we are at the moment. Alright, we can do some butt stabbing. Which will get us a little bit of the way where we need to go. But is not the long-term solution. Well, I don't know. It might be. Like, obviously it wants us to get in there and attack that juicy flesh in there, which I would love to do. Ooh, that was not ideal. Okay. Yeah, that did a decent amount, but... It's like, is the juice worth the squeeze? Alright, there we go. Okay. He is closed. Closed for business. I'm locking onto somebody. Ooh, that's not good. Let's heal up. ASAP. Okay. Ah. Okay, I gotta be better on those. Whoa, hello. Can I please get a heal off? Would that be too much to ask? Okay. Yeah, good thing that there's no, like, uh, degradation of weapons here. Oh, okay. Alright. 
See those little wormy things behind me? I'm very aware that they are bad news bears for me. Okay, he's closed up again. Ooh. Oh, that was bad. I thought he was about to open up. I got greedy. Police, open up. What is it that triggers him to open up? Is it just a timed thing? Oh, okay. There we go. Hello. Oh, he didn't like that. Ah, I don't like that. Look. Oh, no. We are toast. Toast, I tell you. All right. Well, I've learned some things. <laughs> what an unceremonious way to get <laughs> killed. Just kind of kicked. Like a soccer ball that was inconveniently in the way, you know. Okay, I think, why don't we throw some salt on for this one? I don't know. We'll do some holy. I, I don't know if it really matters. I'm sure he's vulnerable to something. I just don't know what that is at this moment. Okay. Let's stay away from that. Ooh, that looked like that hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'll say it. Oh! Yikes. Cool. So, like, I could do three hits and then that'll cause him to be, like, staggered or what? So, strike. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, it's these little uh, caterpillar thingies. You gotta watch out for. Alright, so they explode after a little while. That's good to know. What is this guy doing over here? Are you good, bro? I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Ah, shoot. Oh, super greedy there. He's a one-hitter. One-hitter killer. Yep. Okay, we're gonna stay greed-free on this one. Ugh. Okay. Like, on that one, I could probably have gone for it. Like, those, these little ones where he just sort of bends over. Like without jumping, I don't think are worth going in for. Like I'm about to do, but I'm desperate for help. But the ones where he runs and jumps. Uh-oh. Run. Run. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ah, shoot. Get in there. Alright, that's fine. That's a good trade. Alright, now we'll back off. We'll wait for the little caterpillars to die. Okay, up to full health. That's good. Actually, I think the caterpillars are dead already? Question mark? Oh, but he's created some little little hazards that we're walking on right now, I think. Ooh. Good on you, bro. 
Yeah, so really, when you think about it, he, he doesn't... He's not really one-shotting. He's just withering your entire health bar, and then... Anytime you take damage, all that health goes away. So, like, in a sense, like from a certain point of view, he is, I guess. Oh! Okay. Okay. I all right. Not bad. All right. Now this is a situation. Go right up the butt. Oh. <laughs> Bro, where are you going? Stagger, you know, not like a full-on daddy, daddy stagger. Ooh, oh yikes! That was not what I wanted to do. That's not what I want to do either. All right, one more little caterpillar. It's like the evil cousin of the very hungry caterpillar. Oh no! Uh, heal. Okay, and half of my stamina bar <laughs> is toast. Does that wear off? Or am I just permanently screwed? This is a question I will answer for you here and now. Okay, it go does go away. That's good to know. All is not lost. Ooh. Cool. Oh. Keep circulating. Let's keep those caterpillars at bay. Nice. Okay. Cool. Man, this guy is just... I don't know what his deal is. If he hadn't killed me a couple times already, I would feel worse. You know. The thing I'm most scared about is when he does that little charge. Oh, no! Okay. Uh, emergency heal. Right now. We might have to miss out on this damage being done. Alright. Oh, no! He one-shots you when he closes his head. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're learning, I guess. The lessons were learned. Alright. Uh, what are we gonna do this time? Let's just throw on some fire salts. I don't know. Smoke them if you got them, I guess. I imagine a... You know, because I've suspected that a wood person is probably not uh, in love with taking fire damage, right? Stands to reason. Ooh, okay. How did that work? Get out of there, get out of there. Alright. Another precious heal used up. Get 
guess the trick is to just have him crash into the walls of the arena, huh? Is that the trick? <laughs> I mean, I guess. go. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Ooh. Alright, let's stay away from that. Circle. Mm. Okay. Ooh, get in there. Nice. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over. Visit. Oh, there we go. Let me in there. Okay. All right. I'll I'll stay out your business. Ah, oh, shoot. Heal. <laughs> I love his little run. <laughs> I mean, it's scary for me trying to not die, but it's also very funny. <laughs> Looks like a like a kid's cartoon character doing a little. I'm on the way to save the day, kids. You know. Let's salts up. I don't know. All right, he's about to close shop, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I probably should have waited to apply the salts. It's a little more opportune time. Just waiting for these butterfly or these uh, caterpillars to die. Die, 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 die. One more. All right, let's not get in there quite yet. I swear, something's taking pot shots at me over that wall. Like, just there, like, over my left-hand shoulder. Whoa! Okay, that's a hitbox, which has no business doing what it just did. Back off. Well, that was a wash. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Shoot. All right. I'm not gonna go in for that. We'll get one hit in here, just to max out our non-withered health. Oh, here we go. Go off to the side. Okay, get some stamina back. I feel like that's all I can do, really, at the moment my stamina being as depleted as it is. Alright, let's take the opportunity to flip the field. Hopefully the uh, caterpillars will start dying here in a second. They sure have. Ooh, hello. Yep. Keep it coming. 
Could this be it? Nope, not yet. Oh, I dodged right into that, didn't I? Okay, come on, let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. All right, going in. <laughs> I swear, I swear, all of these guys have like a pixel of health, a literal pixel of health, and then <laughs> that's the only way I managed to defeat them is by some sweaty last-second heroics, and then whatever this nonsense is over here. Yeah, we get it. Okay. We'll solve this little mini puzzle thingy here. That's one of them. Um, the other one is over here. Cool. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. A little dramatic, don't you think? Oh, no. <laughs> this is anticlimactic. Yeah! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, uh, looks like this is a place for me to emerge. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it in time? Oh, shoot. Not quite in time. Alright, now can I do it? Please. Please and thank you. Okay, oh boy. Vanguard Barros's Rosary. Cool. This is the second rosary we've picked up. I wonder what, like, mechanical function they serve. I think we're literally right on top of our vestige right now. Yeah, you can kind of see it there, and we're getting shot at. But why don't we, why don't we call it here? Man. Uh, cool. Another, another cool boss fight in the books. I think we were able to kind of adapt well to the, uh, the mechanic. And we're getting a lot more comfortable with kind of our, our moveset and our stamina capabilities and, you know, mostly me trying to not bite off more than I can chew on any one given, uh, like, attack opportunity. You know, it's like two, three hits, get in, get out, stay frosty, that type of thing. Uh, but with that, we will uh, continue our exploration of, um, you know, Blight Town Jr., I guess, is the best way I can describe it. But that's not to discredit it. Like, it's still a very cool area, and uh, I'm enjoying finding... So like new enemy types and hopefully another boss uh, real soon. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.